Hey guys, this is Wave618, it's the 13th of May 2019, just gone past quarter past four in the afternoon BST, and today we're going to do an update on Bitcoin. So, Bitcoin, very, very exciting times. So, currently, well, since my last video, we've obviously seen this parabolic uh, price action right here. So, we're going to pay a lot of attention to this in this video. Obviously, we're not, not everyone is familiar with trading parabolic price action, so we're going to go over where we can expect to see price targeting. Um, so I'm going to go over that in detail. I'm, and I'm also going to say how far I'm happy for this price action to pull back before I would, you know, be a little bit concerned about the, the bullish move. So some key things to talk about in this video. Um, and so, yeah, if you're interested, stay tuned. All right, guys, so let's talk about Bitcoin. Now, first thing, just before we get started on this, because we're seeing some exciting times in price action right now in Bitcoin, in crypto in general, uh, I'm thinking that I'm actually put, gonna put a few of my other commitments on hold and I'm gonna put a bit more attention into this now. Uh, and because of that, I'm actually thinking of uh, setting up a group. So, um, I know a lot of people, when you hear that, you're thinking, am I still going to be putting these uh, free YouTube videos out? Yes, I still will be doing that. Obviously, I'll be putting a bit more attention to the group. Um, it has to be value for money, and I'll make it very affordable also. I know a lot of people have been hit hard by this um, collapse in Bitcoin. So, um, obviously, I'll take that into account. Uh, but, yeah, just want to mention that I'll make a separate video explaining what that's going to involve in terms of pricing and everything but that should be pretty soon and as i say i'll be putting more time into this so i'll be showing my ideas more uh, so we've got that to look forward to all right now let's talk about bitcoin obviously during my last video um i summarized how we've been bearish um for bitcoin from the 20k top all the way down it's a w x y play out this was w wave three waves down x wave descending triangle and then we had a three wave move down to here. So I've been predicting this 3.2K bottom for WXY for some time. I did, however, expect that we may see a further leg down. Now, the reason for switching my bias on that was when we broke 5.8K. And the reason for that is very clear. We broke the pitchfork parameters, which for me is always very significant. Um, so if we just draw that pitchfork on here, so it was around 5.8K at this point. I was very, very concerned for the um, for the bears at this point. And I was up until this point, there, there was reason for a reversal. There was a nice correction. This all looks very corrective. Uh, we had one wave up, very corrective price action. And then this price action up to here, there was a very nice Fibonacci relationship, which I showed in previous videos between this wave and this wave here. But, however, the pitchfork failed to hold. And what happens since then? You get your parabolic price action. For a lot of people, this was the confirmatory point, point here, this 5.8K. It also coincided with a very, very key indicator. And no matter how simple it is, it's a key indicator. And that's the 50-week simple moving average. I mentioned it was significant. Um, the, the 50, the 20, the 100, and the 200, these are very important moving averages. They're markers of trend. When they get broken, they, they're significant. Obviously, you shouldn't be using these indicators by themselves, but uh, generally um, speaking, they're, they should be a part of your arsenal of indicators because they're very key. And you can see here since, uh, so we can actually just pop the 50 on just to make it clear. So the 50 week moving average is our blue line here. You can see once price broke out, went up, little retest, and then powerful price action to the upside. All right, so obviously chart's getting a little bit messy here. So I wanted to show you this pitchfork here. Now, a lot of people, I got a little bit of hate when I changed my bias, my high time frame bias, because obviously I was talking about a possible Z wave down. So this being a W, X, Y, X, Z. I did think about that possibility. And the reason is 
this was all looking very very corrective yeah for that reason i was expecting another further leg down uh, also on top of that there wasn't much volume coming in okay so i was thinking there's a possibility for reversal at this point once 5.8k broke though that i made it very very clear that i was changing my buyers made it very very clear and then price went to the upside now i was thinking this resistance block here would you know offer some decent resistance however this bull market is strong and it just pierced through it which is likely now and we've already seen it's acting as support so resistance has turned support um, we'll go into that in detail in a moment but yeah i got a little bit of a hate which was disappointing actually because I'm, i want to show you just what i've been not everyone is familiar about my videos from the past okay a lot of you are new to my channel and I've got a few followers who have been with me since the beginning and been kind enough to stick with me and they'll be able to vouch for this we just scroll through my videos so just going back to the beginning this was one year ago when I said Bitcoin to 3,000 then 50,000 obviously you know my long-term targets a bit different to this 50,000 now but I was with, expecting this big crash and you know very well I was looking when we were at 6,400 I was waiting for that further leg down um, so what else did I mention a very important video the most important line in crypto history do you know what that line was so for that line watch the video it's this upper warning line I said when that breaks that is when your bull market is confirmed so I've been talking about this for a very long time when did that video come out so that was eight months ago I've been waiting for this for eight months okay so once that broke for me that was confirmation of this bull market a lot of people obviously want to get in at the bottom and that's always a bit risky don't worry about not catching the bottom this bull market is going to what well, i believe it's you know got a lot of potential it's going to make new higher highs and there's a lot of upside to go so don't worry about catching the very bottom of course if you get in at 3k rather than 6k you're going to double your overall gains obviously that's the the dream scenario but if you're too greedy and you aim for these uh, very the bottom yes if it works out fantastic but more often than not you get stopped out it's much safer to wait for the upper warning line to get broken that's why I, I use pitchforks that's why I find them very significant another video I made um, market crash means Bitcoin boom again I got hate for that and who knows what will happen but right now the stock markets are looking very very weak there's a lot of media attention on uh, what is it the yeah the trade wars between US and China right now um, and we've seen today in fact you know a big downward move in the stock markets coinciding with this parabolic price action in Bitcoin who knows my call back 10 months ago was that basically Wall Street money is going to flood into crypto that's what I was looking at because what other safe haven is there is there and yes we may not know how safe crypto is but the insiders will know and it's very reassuring for me to see bitcoin moving up as the stock markets are moving down check out that video uh, check out the most important line in crypto history um, these are these are calls i've been making a long long time ago so uh, yeah it was a little bit disappointing to get a bit of hate when i said that we're switching to bullish at this point all right but anyway let's focus on the video so uh, bitcoin i was it's a shame i didn't make this a bit earlier because it's actually moving to the upside now um but this block was a very key block if we just bring on volume profiles now here we go so 6400 a lot of people were talking about it big spike in volume price spent a lot of time at this level but it was these levels around it that were key that i was looking at it's these low volume nodes essentially the low volume nodes are where there's a transition in high volume to low volume and what do those uh, levels represent it's where price bounces price bounces very quickly as a result you get low volume so these levels where price bounces this is essentially your horizontal support and resistance levels so I, i've marked out this level this level here you can see big transition here from high volume down to low volume and again here low volume price broke through these horizontal levels very very nicely going in on the daily now we broke through retested and we're going higher 
Obviously, I've not actually mentioned this downward channel. Let's get rid of this pitchfork. I think I've mentioned everything I need to mention about it. Um, so this downward channel, you can see basically all I've done, I've connected this low with this low using magnet mode to ensure that the, the absolute points are used. Then it's the parallel tool, this tool down here, that is used to then connect with this high and then the lines extrapolated down here and you can see what's happened so we've broken through it broken through it and retested yeah now we're moving to the upside okay now the big question on everyone's mind how high are we going to go when should we be taking profits these are the big questions okay so let's have a look um in fact daily time frame is probably ideal for this one let's take off the volume clean up the chart a little bit all right now i'm going to talk about this i'll talk about it a little bit later on but I, for me a lot of people are starting their count from here one two and then calling this the major wave three i'm i'll address this shortly but basically this could be a failure wave of the downward trend yeah so this could be corrective and then an attempt to go lower which failed in which case you start your count from here and um, there's a very I've been so I've been counting from here either way if you want to call this wave one this two and this three let's focus on the count from here so basically one two three four five waves up a b c down uh, take magnet mode off and yeah so hi so this is our fib extension tool all right so how high have we come up we've got a one two and then we've got a one two three four running flat four the running nature of it as i mentioned previously is very bullish you know usually corrective patterns come lower this was running a running flat which shows us bullish momentum price then look at this parabolic move confirming the wave five nature if you check out my video i think two videos back I talked about Bitcoin's parabolic nature. Um, and so in the fifth wave, we get that parabolic spike. So obviously this spike, following the completion of this spike, we're going to get a bit of a pullback. Now, how high is it going to go? So we've got a wave one, two. I thought there was a possibility we hit the 4.236 Fib extension. And we were, there was a possibility of reversal. You can see this daily candle here, this red candle, bit of a pullback. All it managed to do was come back as far of as this um, resistance turn support level this block that we marked out around 6400 with this level being around 6700 retested this level now we're going higher where is my target my target is up here 6.84 fib extension 9500 um, so that's the level i'm looking at now let's just by the time I publish this video, probably we could even be there, but uh, hopefully uh, I'll be able to do it a bit quicker than that. But anyway, volume at price or volume profiles, let's just mark out the key levels. So basically, as I mentioned, it's where high volume suddenly becomes low volume. These are our transition points. This is where price balances. It marks out our key horizontal levels. So using a horizontal ray tool. Um, so we just want to plot points to the north side of here. So uh, volume, so we came up to here. There was a big transition in high volume to low volume. That marked this top at the 4.236. So there was a bit of confluence to fib extension here and low volume. So taking this out is key and it's likely to act as uh, support now. Okay, next major horizontal turn resistance is around here so coming across yeah so it's been keeping with this high essentially in fact let's just bring it all the way across let's in include all the price action so it's here so you can see here price did a little bit of consolidation here um, and then again a bit of consolidation at that level and big turnaround in price there and you can see it's represented here, transition in high volume to low volume. So 
there's going to be a little bit of resistance at this level and what level is this so this is 70 this is 8300 roughly 8300 a little bit of resistance there as i say i'm targeting 9500 at least that's the 6.84 fib extension um, and that coincides with a very key uh, horizontal level reason being we've got the volume profile diminishing there so again high volume goes to low volume so it's a key horizontal level so you can see here price bounces here that's a support here again and then resistance at these levels and again so around 9500 that is where I'm looking for price to likely reverse who knows it could go higher I think it would look a little bit hyper extended at that point but okay so that is essentially if we label this that's our wave one two three up to 9500 where would four come down to so i think it'd be reasonable to test the upper side of this uh order block so this uh let's just um clean this up a little bit take off the volume so let's say Wave 3 starts here, so use our Fibonacci retracement tool. Let's say we make it to 9500, sorry, wrong tool. Yep, so let's say we make it up to here. So retracement, let's, with a, with a parabolic move, you expect quite a bit of retracement with the, for the Wave 4. So it could come as far as the 6 point, uh, 0.618, the 5800, which would test the bottom of this um, order block, this horizontal, uh, significant horizontal level. Um, and it may do that in keeping with this downward sloping channel line also. So that'd be good to see something around here. So that's a, just a possibility for now. I'll be doing more, you know, I'll be doing more videos so we can have a look at that closer. But for now, that's a possible play out. So a wave three up to here, possible wave four coming down to here but who knows this this market could really have legs it may even push beyond the 6.84 fib extension however that's just an initial target so if we've got our wave one two three four and then five will go even higher again that will be parabolic so i'll i'll address that i will come to some uh targets with that once we know where our wave four has come to there's no point using Elliott Wave to determine where 5 will go to until we've got Wave 4 completed or close to completion. Um, so yeah, that's the way I'm looking at it for the time being. Now, I did mention that I was going to mention this looks like a truncation. Why am I of the opinion that this is a truncation? Why am I neglecting this being a Wave 1, 2 and this being 3 and we're going to see a major Wave 4 and then a 5 up? Um, well, let's just take a look at what happened following the Mount Gox crash over here. Everyone thinks that this was the bottom, right? And then we saw some kind of wave one, and then some kind of, what, what, what are you gonna call this? Some kind of regular flat uh, to make a wave two, and then we saw a wave three, parabolic price action. Yeah, that's one way of looking at it. For me, let's zoom in on this. zoom in here for me this is a wave how many waves uh, can you count up until this point for me it's quite clear it's one two three it's three waves it's corrective you know i'm sure you can zoom in and blag a five wave count if you really had to but um let's be honest if you're objective yeah let's pretend you don't know what happens following this point this looks very three wave-ish yeah, so for me this is corrective and then this is a failure wave it failed to make a new low it's corrective this is further corrective a price action all looking very very corrective you know typically wave twos don't get drawn out like this i believe this is a failure wave that allowed for accumulation the accumulation prevented the lower low developing okay so we got uh, so it's a, a, yeah essentially a failure wave and then 
So this is where you would start your new bull market. One, two, three, four, or in fact four, maybe even longer. You could call this a triangle, A, B, C, D, E, and then you go even higher. But anyway, what, this is, what I'm trying to say is at the bottom, you often get this failure wave. That's the way I'm interpreting it. For me, this does not look five wave-ish. It really doesn't. And so I just want people to be open to the opinion that this count maybe should be started from here. Okay, so we've got a wave one, two, three up to here. That's what I'm looking at. That's my forecast. Four potentially coming here, five even higher. We'll project the target later. And then that's all going to correct itself. So that'll be a major wave one. And then well, that's important. it's important that we know where our wave count starts because after a major wave one, we get a major wave two. If you start your count here, you're going to call it a major wave four coming down. If you call this a wave one, two, three, and then you'll be waiting for a four. What I'm saying is we could see quite a deep retracement following the completion of five waves up from here. So one, two, three, four, five, and then a deep deep retracement, perhaps at least 0.618 fib retracement. Again, it may be testing the upper, the this this channel again. It may test the 50 simple, 50 week simple moving average. It may test the pitchfork warning line. I'm not going to go into that just now. It's way too many steps ahead. One, it's always best to look at one step at a time because there's so many possibilities that can play out. But um, yeah, that's my initial target. There's a confluence here. It's a horizontal level. It's a fib level, and we've got a lot of momentum in here. We've tested this uh, resistance turn support level. We've also retested this down uh, upper line of the channel, and uh, it looks like we're going higher. Now, for me to say this, this this has all been invalidated. If I'm calling this the beginning, this is the truncation and this is the beginning of the bull market, then in that case, price has to come lower than here to get invalidated. Yeah, because wave one, wave two can come as far, you know, as 99% uh, retracement. Obviously, I'd be getting a little bit concerned at that point, but um, yeah, to completely say that this is off, off the table, it can come down that far. So that's the invalidation point. Um, but yeah, obviously, these levels, I, I, it's looking like this is going to be hard to break, especially the bottom of it, 5800. Okay, so we'll see if price gets up to here, there's a very good chance that 5800 is going to be very hard to break because going up to here is, is quite a big retracement to get back to 5800. So let's see what happens. Um, I'll be closely monitoring this. Some very exciting times ahead. Um, yeah, check out those videos from my YouTube channel if you're interested. Um, essentially, it's summarizing what I've, I just wanted to really make you uh, aware that I've been looking at this from a long time out and I've been making it public. I put, I made the videos, made them public for you to see, to make you part of your analysis. And uh, yeah, it's what I've been looking at for a long time. Um, so um, it shouldn't be, people shouldn't be too set back when I suddenly say I'm, I'm switching from bearish to bullish. As a trader, that is something you have to do. As an investor, you don't have to do it. But as a trader, uh, you, you've got to be prepared to do that. You can never assume you're right all the time. And anyone who does that is going to get their account wiped out. Simple as that. You've got to be prepared to switch um, very, very quickly. Anyway, um, I made it very clear that 5,800, the most important line in crypto is what I called it. Eight months ago, I think I mentioned it. That was very key. As I say, I'll be talking about the group uh, very soon. I'll make a video on it just to make it clear because I'm sure you've got all wondering what it's going to uh, involve uh, as well as prices, that kind of thing. Um, but um, yeah, exciting, exciting times. Really looking forward to seeing how things play out here. Um, so yeah, if you've liked today's content, leave a like. If you've got any queries, put them in the comments. And yeah. Um, yeah, I think we're going to wrap it up there, guys. All right, take care.